Risky Behavior. Yo, what's up, man? How y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. I am your host, Smelly. So, um, I'm watching the Kendra G Singles Live show, and a young lady came up on the show, and she's looking for love. She's a young lady full of energy, very funny. Um, seems like she's got a great sense of humor, and um, <laughs> uh, she's... Ex- <laughs> I don't know. I just got to let y'all hear it. She She's telling this story because Kendra G asked her, um, you know, what are what are you looking for in a man? And she's making it like a big point that she doesn't want any guy that is down low, undercover in any type of way. And so Kendra G asked her, well, you know, hey, did you have an experience where you were dating a guy and you feel like he was undercover? And so she shares the story. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I don't want to be too long winded. Okay, I just want to make sure, because people come up here with their homies, and they just, you know, that's happened a couple times. Oh, not down here, Bookie. Okay, okay. All right, well, thank you. Mariah, where are you calling me from, boo? From Louisiana. Louisiana. How old are you? I'm 21. Oh, you're young. You just made the age range. 21, right. what to do for, do you work, honey? What you do for a living? Yes, I own um, my homestead. You homestead. Oh, okay. Homestead. Right. You have any kids? No kids, no kids. No kids. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Capricorn. Capricorn. All right, so we got Mariah, Louisiana, 21 Capricorn. Homestead, no kids. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, just somebody, um, I'm looking for like a manly man, okay? Because these men out here be like undercover gays, okay? <laughs> I don't need that, okay? I just want like a manly man, somebody that knows like um, what they want also. Um, and yeah. <laughs> what are your deal breakers? Um, liars, cheaters, undercovers. Cause um, just tell me. And now, have you dated a man that was undercover? <laughs> okay. Um, I have. I have for real. How did you find out? He was trying to make me eat his ass. <laughs> now, how did he ask you that? You said what? How did he ask it? So basically, like, he did an ass, right? So, um, just one day, <laughs> stop laughing, bro. He just but shoved the head down. So, so, like, actually, um, one day, we was like, you know, laying here, laying down in my bed with the wood. So we was like doing six nine, right? So I don't know if you know what six nine is or not, but you know, the cousins may know, okay? So um, so yeah. So then he moved he moving, right? He moving. So too, he didn't put his ass in my face. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck do he want me to do, right? I'm sorry for this one, but I was like, what do he want me to do, right? So I'm just like confused. So that's how I found out. So um, I actually went on my Facebook page and I had like blast him on Facebook over there because I was. Did like, he ever? Oh. Did he ever admit it to you, ma'am? Did he ever admit it to you? Have you ever admitted to me? No, did he ever admit that he was gay? You're saying he was gay. Oh, no, no, he never admitted it. Because I didn't ask him, like, because all you got to do is just tell me the truth. You know, it's either, like, I'm going to fuck with you or not, right? So, no, he never yeah. admitted Okay, well. So, so far, um, what do y'all think so far, right? Because um, it kind of makes you ask that question, um, is it what you like to do sexually or is it whom you do those sexual acts with that make you um, gay or not? Right. Because I have heard women say that when they're in a relationship with a guy, 
they like to do stuff like that to that guy right um so does it automatically make the guy suspect or is he used to just being in relationships with women that like to do that because there's women that like to do that and some women are going to front and act as if they don't do things like that but there are women that practice those activities with that man so i just i, I did want to ask that question and stuff i just thought it was a funny story but to me he's definitely out of line if he didn't have that conversation with her that's not just something you do that's a very that's a very risque activity you know that's not something you just spring on somebody you just put your butt in their face like come on um that's something he definitely you know um has to talk that's a conversation that has to be had that's not a normal thing that people do or like to do is it's just not normal you know um it's not a it's not normally a part of what people do when um having sex man that's something that you really got to see if that person is into that and wants to do that and how they feel about it so no no men that would put their butt in her face and expect her to proceed okay so <laughs> i want um, somebody got here also got here must date me got fair that's a requirement gotcha so was that all your deal breakers are there more um deal breakers deal breakers my other deal breakers um i don't want drug no drug dealers like don't hit me up i don't want that in my life um no baby daddies <laughs> because i'm not a baby mama okay um and yeah that's it so no guys with kids, okay. Should he look a certain way? Um, should he look a certain way? Um, just not, like, just not too short, okay? Like, be taller than me. That's me. Okay, how tall are you? I am 5'5". Five, five. So be taller than 5'5". Five, 5'7", five. Five, five, seven, five, nine works or no? That's cool, that's cool. Okay. However large, I'm gonna Say what happened, honey? I said, however the Lord sent him. However the Lord sent Okay. What? Should he make a certain amount of money? Um, at least like 50K and up. You said 50 or 60? 60. 60K. Okay. Mariah, let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh, it was Jada. Kendra Cam. Okay. I'm a little fat, okay? Hold on. Whatever. So this is how I look. Okay, we see. <laughs> we see you, Mariah. <laughs> <This is silly. laughs> we see you, boo. So okay. Mariah, Louisiana, twenty-one. She homesits, no kids. Okay, when was your last relationship? Um, I never been in a relationship. All of my relate, all of my um, like, I just been in relations, like you know. This is okay. Is that what God told you to do to be in relations before relationships? You said what? Did God tell you to do relations before relationships? Um, no, because I just haven't, I just haven't been, um, tell her, hold on. I just haven't been, um, I just haven't been for real with them. Like they haven't been for real with me. Are you ready to be for real now? Yes, I am for real because I be cooking now, like I'm ready. Okay, um, so well, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? I'm gonna pass that question. Okay. Three flaws you have to work. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Look, nice, nice looking young lady, full of energy, um, great sense of humor, and she got enough common sense, enough class to not answer that question i love it when they don't answer that question because nobody really wants the real answer um i talk too much um we my agree. Attitude, <laughs> so we agree. i give too much okay and why would a guy be lucky to be with you because i'm god fearing i am smart beautiful um <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So we got Mariah, Louisiana, 21, Capricorn. She homesits. 
Um, make at least 60K, can't have no kids. How can the guy reach out to you, Mariah? Okay, so they can um, reach out to me on my Facebook page at Mariah Lanell. No, my bad, I'm sorry, it's not my real name. It's Mimi Love, I'm sorry. M-E-M-E-L-O-V-E. Okay, Mimi Love on Facebook, and also download the Kendra G Singles dating okay. app. I, okay, I got you, Buki, I got you. I love you, Kendra. Okay, Buki. All right, <laughs> bye, baby girl. All right, bye. All right, so there you have it. Um, seems like a nice young lady. Hopefully a nice young man will um, hit her up and she can find love. Um, I, I, that's a crazy story she told, the fact that this guy obviously did not have no conversation with her at all. And he just, he just, how do you just spring that on somebody like that? You just would take your ass and sit it on their fate. Come on. You know, that's something you got to talk to somebody about. Even guys. You had a lot of guys that don't even like doing that to women, right? So, whereas I don't think him doing that with her makes him necessarily um, suspect meaning that he's gay or playing for the other side but I, I do definitely think what he did that that would be inappropriate um eating because that's that's fecal matter let's be honest it's fecal matter and and you gotta have that conversation before you do something like that in the bedroom you don't just sit on somebody's face or shove their face down there no that that's a conversation that need to be had anyway Appreciate the love and support. Everyone who is subscribed, I appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe for more content. Thumbs up the video. Like it. Share it with a friend. And share it with a friend. Um, Man, get down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Is your sexuality what you do or who you do? Or is it both? I don't know. Anyway, I'm out of here. Risky out. Risky behavior.